It's my work class, third period class, home roll, break this tape one. Good yeah, afternoon, this... ladies and gentlemen. I'm Artifact, your friendly but knowledgeable host of the Past is a Blast television. I'm joined today by the lovely Nia Androthrall. And we're going to continue with another installment of The March of Dawn. Thank you so much, Artie. It's great to be here in the Paleolithic Age with you again. There is nothing like the old Stone Age to really bring some excitement in our viewers' dull little lives. Dull they are too, Nia, because me metal tools and weapons have yet to be invented. That's why they call it the Stone Age. <laughs> Today, PBTV takes you back, way back, to five, four or five million. That's pretty far back, Nia. Yes, it sure is. We have to go back that far to see Australia, Lake Africus, the southern ape, better known to our viewers as Lucy. Where is Lucy now? Hello there. I am an Australopithecus of Afrasius, but you can call me Lucy. Well, Lucy, can you tell PBTV why you're so important to human history? I am one of the earliest hominids to walk upright on two feet. What is a hominid? An early ancestor of the humans by walking on, on two feet. I now have my hands free to carry my young, protect myself, gather food, and so on. It is very convenient and generally increased by chancy for the survival of my species. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, oh boy, are you a guy from PBTV? We sure are, and who are you? I am Homo habilis, also known as Handyman. That's because I was the first hominid to use simple tools. When were you around? Sure. About 2.4 million years ago, I used sticks and stuff to chop, cut, and scrape. Tools allowed me to gather and prepare food and make shelter and clothing when to see me in my tools. Sure. <laughs> Let's go find Homo sapiens. <laughs> you have to find me. I'm smart enough to find you. You sure are. Can you tell our PBTV viewers what makes you special? This time in my mind, last night I got brain power and I just get an off hustle away. Homo erectus may be able to control fire, but I can't create it. Think of it as a consequence. I don't have to depend on the lightning strike, but I'm going to defend myself, keep warm, and cook my soul whenever I feel like it. Wow. I also use complex tools, which are a set of basic tools that work together. What do you mean? Oh, bow and arrow, paintbrush and paint, bow and arrow, um, whether a civilized panel or I still just a hundred grand together. Give it time. And speaking of time, already already is running out. Thank you, Homo sapiens. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Let's hit that. Well, 
have enjoyed today's Mar March of Time program. Please join us next week when me and I take you to the Mesolithic era to see what is so special about it. Was there something special about the Middle Stone Ages party? Dang if I know. Well, I'll have to ask the writers. In any event, I'm Artie Fatch. And I'm Nia Anderthal. Thanks for tuning into the Past is Blast television. That was a wrap.